rocking around the Christmas tree project pan update for you for the month of November. <coughs> Sorry. So this is a fantastic ladies collab as always I will link all of their information for you below as well as other collaborators in this project pan please do go and check them out um, they're a lovely bunch of ladies and I'm really enjoying being part of their community um, so yeah let's stop waffling and get straight into the project now I don't know if anyone noticed but uh, last month I didn't do an update and the sole reason for that was I was actually away on holiday over the 25th of October. Um, I was away from my mother-in-law's 60th birthday. Um, we took her on holiday just to Sunny Skegness but um, we had a great time and I didn't have time before we left to pre-film my update and by the time I got back I was busy doing other videos that I normally post at the end of my month um, my you know my monthly manicures my um, makeup basket and things like that that I just um, I just ran out of time and and place to film and edit and post my update for the Christmas project pan um, so I do apologize for last month's update not being done um, so technically this is like two months worth of progress so um yeah and to be honest considering it's two months worth of progress is not a lot we do however have three empties or two empties and one um goal hit so i will start off with that so the first one is a set of three that are three there were three items in this part so it was the Cetaphil skincare trio I've already previously used up one item and uh, these were the two that I had left and I have used up this one so this one is the um, like the face and body uh, moisturizing cream it was only a small 14 grams um, but it was really lovely. It was kind of thick, so I used it as a night cream um, rather than a day cream. Um, this isn't empty, but this is, is the only part of the Cetaphil Trio that I have left. And this is, again, a moisturising lotion. I'm using this kind of like as a body lotion rather than a face cream. It's very, um, very, very thin, very liquidy, so... Um, rather than putting this on my face i'm putting this on my body after i've had a shower um so yeah i'm really enjoying this product but that's two out of the three um trio gone so really happy with that the next empty was my nip and fab uh, glycolic scrub fix um this was really nice I, so um i actually started using this in the shower so um when i first got in i would put a little bit of this on my hands rub it in rub it all over my face and then rinse it off in the shower and i was good to go um it did make my skin feel really nice and squeaky clean i really really did enjoy it i would even potentially repurchase this um, I'm really enjoying exfoliating scrubs and I've realised how good they actually were. Previously fell in love with the Dermalogica one, but I think this Nip and Fab one is a little bit cheaper than Dermalogica because Dermalogica is expensive. Um, so yeah, that is all gone. All, all gone. So that's that one. And then the third item is my Hula uh, bronzer by benefit it is only a sample size and my goal for this was to hit pan which is what i've done down here not up here down here um so sizable pan there um i wanted to try and use as much of this up as possible because it comes out of the packaging now um and it's making an awful mess <laughs> um I'm going to continue to try and use this though um, because I really want to get this moved up and out of my collection um, sooner rather than better because as I say broken packaging and me just it doesn't I don't like it it makes me feel bad um, uh, so yeah I'm going to continue to use this but it is taken out of the project pan 
So let's move on to all the other items. So let's show you other things that I've had good progress on. So sticking with skincare, I have my Quick Fix Facials Mega Moisture Mask for dry and thirsty skin. Um, ignore all these top markings, it was in a previous project pan. So I started here for the Christmas project pan and I am now down to here. I don't face mask as often as I should and I certainly don't do like these sort of masks as often as I should. I will tend to, if I think about it, last thing at night I'll use a tissue mask more um, just because it's easier and more convenient. Um, but I do really like this mask. Um, but I've had, I've had a good little, little bit of progress this month. So I'm hoping to get that finished by next month. That's gonna, I'm gonna have to do it at least once a week in order to do that because next month is obviously Christmas. So I'm really gonna drive hard to get this finished by the end of the year. The next item is another mask, but this is an overnight mask treatment. It's called Mud Masky Sleep Repair Renewal Nourishing Mask. So it is that last month we were up to here and now we are down to here i actually love the convenience of this mask now this is a mask i can wear on a regular basis because basically all i do is i do my normal skincare routine and then last thing before i go to bed i just uh rub this all over my uh, face and then i go to bed and then in the morning i wash it off now that's a mask i can get on with so um so yeah i really enjoy in this and i will definitely definitely have this finished by the update the next item is my nail varnish so this is nails ink little brick lane um I wore it in October, but I haven't worn it yet in November. Um, I do plan on wearing it. There's still a couple of days left of November, so I will try and get it worn. At the moment, I have nothing on my nails, so I might even do this today. I actually bought some uh, nail art stencils. Uh, let me see if I can... So I recently bought some stencils, um, and these are for nail art. They're from a company on Etsy and i've got five here and they they cost me around about one pound thirty a sheet here in the uk i've struggled to find these things very easily etsy was about the only place i could find that did them decently um so yeah i have every intention of using these nail vinyls uh with this nail polish uh that is my goal and I will attempt to do that later on today. Um, I may put on my Instagram page um, what it looks like when I finished. So my Instagram is always linked down below if you want to go check out my Instagram. So that was that. So yes, I wore it in October, but I haven't quite worn it in November. And the goal for that is to wear it at least once a month. So, so far I'm failing for November. But um, I've still got a couple of days left, technically. The next item is something that I'm actually wearing on my lips today. It is the Bourjois Rouge Edition uh, Velvet Lipstick in Violin Strass. So it's this. Um, with these lipsticks, again, my goal is just to wear them at least once a month. Um, because I know lipsticks are notoriously hard to pan, especially as I have another specific lip products only project pan going on at the moment, which I'm really trying hard to work on and uh, finish up for the end of the year as well. So, so far, so good. I have worn this at least once every month, so that is good. The next item is my Love the Revolution palette by Makeup Revolution. And I'm trying to hit pan on this heart here. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can, but there's a good dip going on in here. So this is quite a softly pressed highlighter. So I'm getting more um, 
more progress than I kind of expected to get because of this. It is the highlighter that I have on today. It's a little bit icy for my personal liking, but um, it's it's kind of like a, a lilac-y pink icing, so I can kind of get away with it. If it was more of a blue ice, I probably wouldn't like it as much. Um, but as it's like a, a lilac sort of pinky type of ice look, I can kind of get away with it. So no pen yet, but still working on that one. The next item is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Um, I, think, I think my goal is to get down to the word NYX. Uh, so that is that. Um, I use this as a base for my eyeshadow that I have on today um, just because it does make the colour pop just a little bit more and make it more true to colour. So this is the progress that I have had. So it's about, about a, just short of a centimetre maybe um, of use so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, as I say, the main goal is to get down to the word NYX and I'm, I'm pretty close to that so I'm not too far off. So if I continue to use it as much as I have been recently, then I'm going to be close if not definitely hitting it. So that is that. And then the last two items are in my Too Faced Best Year Ever palette, which was last year's Christmas palette. Um, I'm really liking the look of their Christmas palette this year, but I'm no, 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 not buying. Okay, so the two shades in here that are in this project pan is Christmas Dream up here. I have that as a, a brow bone highlight. It's a little bit much for a brow bone highlight. Um... I'm struggling to use this light pink here because it's very shimmery, very shiny um, and I'm struggling as to how to use it or where to use it. Um, as I say, it's, it's too bright for a brow bone highlight, too shimmery, too icy and I'm really, really kind of struggling to use it. The other shade that is in this project pan is this one, which is Sleigh Bells. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like, pink and gold sort of shimmer. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty. I absolutely love it. Um, it is what I have on my eyes today. So a bit of that. Um, and I'm getting, I am getting a little bit of a dip in there, I'm not sure if you can see, but there is a little bit more of a dip going. Um, in all truth and honesty, before this project pan, I had not touched this palette at all since buying it last Christmas. So, um, the fact that I'm getting a bit of use out of it now, um, is, is more than I can ask for. Loving this shade here, which is Deck of the Halls. I have that in my crease. Uh, Plum Pudding is really great for um, deepening out the outer corner. Um, even these browns here on this side are a real nice um, eye look as well. So, And these blacks, this one has got a lot of glitter in it. That one is just a plain black. These are really good for like a bit of eyeliner. Um, so yeah. Um, getting much more use out of this palette because of this project pan, but the two I'm concentrating on are Sleigh Bells and Christmas Dream. Christmas Dream I'm struggling with, Sleigh Bells I've absolutely fallen in love with. So that is it. That is my project pan. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell button so you'll be notified when my next video goes up. And rude. That's my phone. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!